Young Romeo, is it? It's Elfio! That villain! Romeo! Tranquilo, gentle cousin. Déjalo solo. He bears him like a goodly gentleman. Tenga paciencia. Take no note of him, eh? No so forth! He shall be endured! <laughs> my lord to see my open shame now thou dost penance too look how they gaze see how the giddy multitude do point and nod their heads and throw their eyes on thee methinks i should not thus be led along mailed up in shame with papers on my back and followed with a rabble that rejoiced to see my tears and hear my deep fat groans there you go I can no other answer make but thanks and thanks, and ever oft good turns are shuffled off with such uncurrent pay. I must go seek some dewdrops here and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. My favorite line of Shakespeare, that, that's an easy one. This has been um, sort of a, a personal motto of mine my whole life. This above all else to thine own self be true. This is not a task for, for the faint of heart. Mounting a Shakespeare production is well done requires Precision, expertise, thought, intention, great direction, wonderful performers, great tech staff, amazing costumers, point of view, and that only hits a few of the highlights. And so these require, beyond anything else, the exquisite talent we have at Austin Shakespeare, they have to have the tools to work. And our first play, And I Was a Fairy, was Midsummer Night's Dream. I, I do remember the, the you know, feeling very small in this very big place and that, that musty, dusty smell of the theater and the excitement when the lights went down. And um, it, going to the theater was, was a very important part of my experience growing up. What I think it means to a young child is that the world of the imagination does not have to stop because young children are very imaginative. I mean, they're, as we know, they're putting on bath towels and flying you know, through the backyard. I go with the life of the imagination and the energy that it brings, but with teenagers, I was able to convince them that when they voice their dreams and hopes, so you write it, you speak it, you name it, you claim it, and then they begin to see themselves because they give words to who they are and what they hope. Kids who are shyer, kids who are sometimes the smart Alex, uh, not Alex, smart Alex. We see it all the time and it's in a sense not a surprise. I think we all know it and recognize it and it's more of an aha experience. That's what we're looking for. There's been lots of changes in myself since I've actually started doing Shakespeare. I feel like I can communicate better to people, but I also feel I've, I don't know, become a bit more mature in some ways because the way he talks is really different and I sort of start talking like him sometimes. And this one time there were these kids that just kind of sat down, there were two uh, 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 Hispanic kids, they were just transfixed. They were bilingual, you know, there was some Spanish and uh, mixed in with, with English, and these kids were just kind of glued. Like they were watching TV, but they were, you know, watching this show, and it was, it was real life, and what I was seeing in their eyes, how they were just so mesmerized on what was happening on stage, and I just feel that there was a connection that was there. And that, that, was, that was beautiful. Any linguist would tell you that our perception of the world and of ideas are shaped by 
the words that we use to describe them. Current society places an emphasis on quantity of communication, of speed of communication. People who have not been exposed to it until their senior citizens get a chance to see Shakespeare done right. They understand everything about it and, it, and it's transformative. With enough support, we can create a nationally known Shakespeare company that is housed in Austin, Texas. So having that in this city and having Ann and Alex being able to lead the company toward works of Shakespeare and works of classical theater that are for Austin and about Austin is, I think, just thrilling. I think there are lots of people that share our values. And sometimes we forget that sharing our values means to put your money where your values are. And for us, the overwhelming majority of our funding comes from individuals, people who come to see our shows or who have kids who are in our productions. We provide the community with a production that is free every year. And I think that's something that people can take a lot of pride in. So we are hoping that people will be motivated to preserve that. You can't plan without multi-year giving. You've got to know where you are. It lets you know how to plan your life, how to plan your seasons, and how to be deliberate and intentional about what you do. This is the time where we, we contribute to, nurture, and take care of the things we genuinely value. I would trust, hope, and believe that one of those is the continuance of a very vibrant Shakespeare festival in Austin or Shakespeare experience in Austin.